What's up Model Squad, MLB back with another Division 2 video. Before we get into today's video, I want to announce that I have finally enabled my join button. This means for those of you who want to support the channel that little bit more, you can join and become members. You will have the access to badges and perks others don't. Becoming a member is another great way to support the channel and it's going to help me improve on the channel's quality. If you guys are interested in being a member, then click the join button down below to check out the available perks. I believe the first tier is only $1. Thank you to those of you who choose to join. With that said, welcome to another Division 2 build breakdown video. In today's video, I bring you my armor regen tank DBS build for both PvE and PvP. This build consists of 5 blues and 1 red. What's great about this build is even though we have 5 blues giving us 1.7 million base armor, this build still puts out incredible damage. In order for our tank regen build to do damage, I expect it to do high crit chance and crit damage. On top of all of that crit damage, we have our main weapon which of course is the Lady Death. The Lady Death's Breathe 3 talent is so strong it allows these tank type builds to do major amounts of damage. In my opinion I think it's a problem because in the past we've had these tanky builds doing high amounts of damage and the devs have said that's not what they want the game to be like, yet we always end up back here. Anyway, continuing on with the build, in combination with high crit, the Lady Death and 1.7 million base armor, our skills also add to our damage and tankiness. With this build I'm using the Striker Shield which we gain when using the Firewall Specialization. This shield gives us an extra 11% damage and adds to our survivability with a 4.8 million health shield. Partnered with the shield is the Defender Drone which also adds to our survivability. It attempts to deflect incoming bullets, gives us a damage reduction of 21.1% in PvE and 10.6% in PvP. And it doesn't stop there because our talents also contribute to making us tankier and doing even more damage. A tank DPS build wouldn't be a tank DPS build if we didn't have the talent Adrenaline Rush. This talent gives us a further 20% armor on top of our 1.7 million whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy. This can also stack up to 3 times giving you a possible total of 60% bonus armor on top of our base armor. Along with Adrenaline Rush we are also using Intimidate which while you guys have bonus armor you gain 35% amplified damage to those who are within 10 meters. Everything about this build is about being up close and personal from using an SMG to using a shield that boosts damage to targets within close range to the talents that give Give us both armor and damage from and to enemies within 10 meters this builds all about getting up in your enemy's face on top of all that damage and tankiness we also have survivability from our armor regen which we gain from the bulwark and golong gear pieces so over time you are constantly healing and it may not be as strong now that the bulwark got nerfed but it's still very effective we can clearly see why these type of builds are and always will become meta so now I've talked about the build a bit, I'll give you guys a quick rundown of each piece of the build and the stat sheet before showcasing this build in some more gameplay. Before we start this breakdown, if you haven't already, smash that like button to help support the channel. If you're new around here, subscribe for lots more Division 2 content. With that said, let's get into the build breakdown. Starting off with our primary weapon, which I mentioned earlier, the Lady Death. I'm not going to go over the talent, read through it. If you want to read through it, pause the video to go through it in greater detail. I'll skim over the attachments real quick, we have 10% critical hit damage from the scope, we have 5% critical hit damage from the muzzle, we have 500% melee damage from the grip and the magazine gives us 10% reload speed. For the secondary I'm running the shotgun because it does great burst damage and it's good against other tanky builds. We have Optimus as a talent on there and I believe all the attachments are crit chance except for the magazine which is rate of fire. Moving on to the gear pieces now, our first piece of golden gear. Golden gear is our status effects which doesn't contribute to the build whatsoever. The reason we are using this brand set is for the armor regeneration. So we have maxed out armor as you can see right there, 170k. We have 4.6% critical hit chance, 11.3% critical hit damage. And then we have a mod giving us skill duration. Now these skill duration mods are actually really good because they help our drone last longer. Otherwise it would only be around for about 20 seconds or less. Moving on to our chest piece, which is the new chest piece, the new brand set, sorry, the Walker Harris, give us 5% weapon damage. You could switch this out for a Sokolov, which would give you the SMG damage. As you can see there, you get the extra 10%. As you can see, I've got 11.5% weapon damage, 10.7% critical hit damage, 6% crit chance, and then 12% critical hit damage via a mod. And like I also mentioned earlier, we're running Intimidate while you have bonus armor, amplifies total weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. Moving on to the first piece of our bulwark, we have armor and then we have crit damage. Now when it comes to the bulwark pieces, we're just going to go for armor and straight crit damage. 
So I'll skim over this real quick so you can see. Again, armor and crit damage. The gloves, armor or crit damage. And then when it comes to the backpack, our second piece of golden gear, which gives us that 1% armor regen. And we have max armor, 12% crit damage, and 12% skill haste. And then we have 9.2% skill duration for a mod. Adrenaline rush as a talent. Whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy, gain 20% bonus armor for 5 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times. Moving on to our skills, starting off with the striker shield. As you can see, we have 4.8 million. 4.8 million health on a shield, which is not too bad. You have to get through that 1.8 million before you even get to the player. You'll have 1.7 million armor. You'll have adrenaline rush as well. So you'll probably have around 2 million armor plus this shield. And then they defend the drone on top of you, making you even more tanky. You're just, you're just ridiculously tanky. Looking at the mods, they are all shield health, as you can see. And then we have 4% damage bonus. Moving on to the Defender Drone, if we look at the mods for that, 7.2% deflection duration, we have 9.2% health, we have 5.7% damage reduction, and as you can see, it's up for 27 seconds, whereas usually it'd be 19 to 20 seconds. So those duration mods, most people don't think they really contribute to the build, and it's not a good thing to have them. They actually are because they make this drone last longer. And that's it when it comes to the build guys, don't forget to smash that like button to show your support because it helps us grow. If you're new, subscribe for lots more Division 2 content, I'm leaving you guys with some gameplay, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out Mob Squad. We need you to secure the memorial and remove the True Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, True Sun's will be a direct threat to the campus.
anywhere. All clear. I repeat, the compound is all clear. 